What's going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to install and run your own Unity 2D micro games. So recently Unity uh, added a feature called a 2D platforming micro game and basically this allows you to create your own 2D platformer with a base template that has all the stuff made for you. So the player can already run, the enemies are already programmed to do damage to you, platforms are already put in place, there's coins. It's basically a rough 2D platforming level that you can make to be your own in any way you want. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this really quick. So you want to click new. And then you'll see the options for 2D, 3D, 3D with extras, high definition role play. And if you keep scrolling down, you'll see 2D platformer micro game. Now, initially, you'll probably have to download it. So if you see this little option here, just click download. I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to select it. And now I'm going to name it 2D plat, whatever, it doesn't matter. The most important thing is that your location here, your file directory has no spaces in it because if there's a space, it will give you an error and then you'll have to make sure that there's no space because I've run into this myself. So I'm ready to go. I'm going to click create and I'm just going to wait for Unity to do its thing and load this game and I'll come back. I'll do a little cutscene and we'll be back once it's done loading. Okay, so now it's finally loaded and you should see this get started with Unity screen pop up. So 2D platformer, are you ready to make your own version of this 2D platformer micro game? Of, uh, you can either click get started and it'll help you with the tutorial or you can click explore on your own. Now I recommend you guys click get started and go through the tutorial yourself because it's helpful to get used to learning how to use Unity and stuff like that. But I'm gonna click explore your own just cause I wanna show you guys some other things. So. I'm going to full screen this, close this tutorial tab, which you guys should probably go through yourself. Uh, close tab. Yes, okay. I'm going to resize this really quick so we can see the game. And now I'm going to click play. So I first want to show you the controls and stuff. Basically, this is a rough 2D platformer, so uh, WAS to... Anyways, I won't damage your guys' ears long enough. You get the point. Um, so if you want to edit this level yourself, you got to go to Window and then you got to go to 2D. Now you'll need an option down here called Tile Palette, not Sprite Packer. So under Package Manager, click here. And just wait for this to load a little bit. But basically you're going to have to download a 2D tile palette package that allows you to erase and add new things to this level and completely change it to be your own. This is how I built this level to be my own for my school project. So here we go, 2D tile map editor. This is the one you want. So click here, oh, it's still loading. Oh, I wish Unity wasn't so slow sometimes. Come on, come on. Okay, so you'll see this install option here on the bottom right, click install. Just wait for it to do its thing, I guess. Okay, so now that it's finished installing, you'll see the option for remove and you won't see an option for install. That's how you know it's done. So you can just close this and now under window, when you click, uh, when you go down to 2D, you'll see tile palette. So click here. And now if you want to erase, you can just click this erase tool and you can start erasing parts of this level if you want. Or if you want to add new things, you can click on individual blocks. So let's just click on some platforms 
and once you click on a block it'll automatically select the paint with active brush tool and you can just start creating new stuff in this level however you want. I'll let you guys play with this and build your own level but that's basically how you do it that's how you get started with this so hopefully you guys found this video helpful if you did please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching